Okay. Ooh, I'll do this. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Freebs, it's Jordan Page from FunCheaperFree.com, and today I'm gonna show you how I go from this to this in just six or seven minutes with many of the products being things that you can just pick up at the drugstore. This is how I do my makeup every day. It's quick and it's easy, so let me show you how to do it. Now, first up, I just need to let y'all know I am not a beauty expert in any shape or form, so just, you know, you wanted to see how I do my face, so this is how I do my face. Sorry for any beauticians out there who are watching like, ooh. All right, first up, I do the brows. In my logic, I work from here down and do my skin last, because as I do my eyes and my eyebrows, stuff just flakes and smears and, you know, I don't know. Oh, so I guess I should say, First thing I do is I take some lotion, dab some. No matter how well I wash my makeup off the night before, there always seems to be little lingering makeup smears under my eye. Be gentle. We don't need more wrinkles now. Now eyebrows. This is just a $2 e.l.f. pencil in taupe. I use a little spoolie to brush my non-existent eyebrows. Yeah, you know how in middle school we all thought it was like a really good idea to over pluck? Thanks a lot, 90s! Truthfully, I do my, make, my makeup so fast. I'm usually doing it in the car while I'm waiting for preschool or, whoa, whoa, or real quick at the gym. So I do not take much time to do my makeup at all. I know there's probably a much better method to this, but I ain't got time for that. Quick Little Diddy is the name of my game. Wow, doing my makeup in a little camera screen is not the best idea. Whatever. If I do have more time or if I'm going on TV or something, I definitely shape these better, but you get the gist. Next up, I move on to eyeshadow, and the first thing I do is I always prime. I will have links to all my products below, but I love this. I used to use MAC Paint Pot Primer, but it's like, you know, 20 bucks a container. This is Maybelline, and it's only five bucks. Works just as well. I actually think I might like it better. The 24-hour color tattoo metal 24-hour eyeshadow. Really long name, Maybelline. The color 70, barely branded. And I just take my finger, and I just go in and put it all over my lid, all the way up to my eyebrow line. The benefit of a primer is twofold. Number one, you can use any eyeshadow in the world. It could be the cheapest of the cheap and it will stay on really well. I go swimming with my eyeshadow. This stays basically through the zombie apocalypse. And number two is it gives a nice base color. It basically acts as an eyeshadow at the same time, which cuts down on some steps. I literally cannot see what I'm doing, so just pretend it looks amazing, okay? Thanks. Next, I do eyeshadow. Like I said, you can use whatever the heck you want. My favorite eyeshadow of art all time is anything Tarte. This Tarte Lit in Bloom palette is really cute. I tend to like the nudie colors. I'm starting with Funny Girl, which is basically just a shimmery, kind of a champagne-y. Whoa, that's dirty. And kind of cover my whole eye. Just to set that cream primer and build on that base color. I do not worry about being clean or perfect. Truthfully, I've got like five minutes to do my makeup. Fair warning, this is a lot of makeup. Like, I like wearing makeup. I like wearing multiple colors of eyeshadow. So you could certainly cut out several of these steps. But I'm just gonna show you exactly what I do and then you can decide how much you hate it or love it. I'm just gonna kind of combine these two colors, which are Jet Setter and Smarty Pants. Just kinda do that. Oh, by the way, most of the brushes I'm using are Real Techniques brushes. I will link everything below. I love them. They are inexpensive and work great. This particular brush is an Emma Cosmetics brush. I lost my very favorite crease brush ever. I paid like 40 bucks for it at Sephora. I don't wanna talk about it. Anyway, I uh, take this and I just go in my crease. I'm really just going back and forth in a rainbow or windshield wiper motion, and then concentrating just on the very corner of my eye. You know, it all just kind of works out in the end. Don't you worry. So you could be done there, because you have the lighter color on your lid and a little bit darker in your crease in the corner. For me today, I'm actually gonna add kind of a little transition shade, which is this pinky color called Sweetheart. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and go the very top of that rainbow arch, blend it, add a little bit of a transition shade. And then one trick that I'd love to do is, you know, if you have a minute or two, find a pink color, like this is the Too Faced Natural Love palette. I love the color Honeymoon down here. Dab it, or even like a gold, dab it like right in the middle of my eye. And it kind of acts as a transition shade between this dark corner color and then the light base color that we put on first. Which I feel like with this lighting in here, you can't even tell what's happening. Why is it so bright? Is that better? Ooh, that's dark. We'll go back to plan A. So that's what I do for my eye. Next, I do eyeliner. I am mad at life. 
that I don't have my favorite liner, which is the NYX or NYX Roll Up Brown Liner that I'll link below. This is just a Maybelline, just a pencil. But I hate the ones that you sharpen. You have to carry a sharpener with you everywhere, and then when it gets dull, it like stabs you in the eye. I hate that. I'm gonna do it because that's what I have. I find that when you line the top and the bottom, it actually makes your eye look smaller. So I actually just focus on the top lashes and I kind of do a little bit of a wing to really open up my eyes. I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to do it or not, but this is how I do. Pull straight back, extend the line from my top lash, and I try to go a little bit thicker out here and then get thinner as I go. I cannot see what I'm doing. This is really exciting. And there you go. Kind of makes like a little wing thing. Let me see if I can do that again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, scratching me. Mm. In my humble opinion, eyeliner is one of those things that you should not be paying a lot for. There are terrible cheap ones and then there are good cheap ones. So don't use the terrible cheap ones. And I feel like if you're paying more than maybe eight, 10 bucks for eyeliner, I think you're being robbed. But again, that's just school of Jordan here, whatever. All right, I mean, I don't hate it. You get the idea. And then I move on to lashes. Grab an eyelash curler, any kind will do. This is Revlon, and I always curl my lashes. A real trick is crimp it three times. Once, you go at the way back base of your lashes, and then once in the middle, and then once kind of at the top of your lashes to create a dramatic swoop. Or if you're like me and you don't have a ton of time, day to day I usually just do it once. I always wear waterproof mascara just because my eyes are huge and I have eye watering issues. So this is just Maybelline Voluminous something. I'll link it below. And I just blink slowly, really focusing on the base of my lashes. And then run your wand thingy along the tips of your lashes to make sure you get it really well from base to tip. Part of the reason why I do this so early in the process is because I let it dry. Ah, see, I messed up. I'm the worst. I don't know what I'm doing. I like to let that dry and then build upon it. Now we're gonna move on to face. My pores, if you haven't been able to tell by how close I am in this video, are terrible. I've been to the dermatologist, I've tried everything. I was just born with large, giant pores. So I do like to use a primer or a pore refiner. This is the Emma Cosmetics. So I just do a little dab. If I'm in a rush, I skip this step. You know, if it's just like a standard day, I'd say half the time I do this, really focusing on my nose and where my pores are the biggest. And then under my eyes, just kind of fills it in, gives it a nice smooth base, makes your skin look better. I have been breaking out and so I'm I'm going to take a second and add just a little bit of extra concealer to my trouble spots. This is so old school. This is Maybelline. I use a lot of Maybelline. This is not sponsored. Maybelline, call me. But this is their, well, hold on. Dream Matte Mousse Creamy Natural Light number five. It is pretty much gone but I'm cheap and there's stuff up in the corners. So I'm gonna get it. Oh yes, I am. This is a bubble blender. It's like a silicone beauty blender. I don't even know where you get these. I got one from my girl Whippy Cake on Instagram. So maybe check her out, Google it or something. I'm gonna use this to really dig into the corner. I love this stuff because it's really lightweight. Liquid foundation does not work on my skin. It just sits really heavy on my skin and it looks so done up. I really wanna look more natural. So the makeup I use is much lighter and sits better on my skin personally now I'm moving on to foundation I really like mineral foundation but not drugstore I have tried all the drugstore brands they are junk so I do prefer bare minerals or NS minerals I've got a promo code I will leave down below. I've been using this for years, like probably five years now, and it actually has cleared up my skin so much. I just tap some into the lid, tap, tap, tap it in, and then I use a firm kabuki brush. I kind of tap it all around first, and then blend it. I try to avoid my eye area, and I'll show you why in a second, but I just try to get all over, and I do go under my chin a bit because nobody like a makeup line. One thing that is nice about mineral makeup is just get your brush a tiny bit wet and use a dampened, concentrated blob, for lack of a better term, on your blemishes instead. So you could do this all with one product. There you go. I just feel like for me, mineral makeup looks so much more natural, like I'm not wearing as much makeup as I am. You ready for my secret weapon? You're gonna love me. It's Maybelline, go figure. Instant a, oh. That's French, hold on. Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. You're gonna love this, new best friend. You just click up a couple notches, freaking magician for your under eyes. And then I drag it down a little bit along the sides of my nose, my upper lip, whatever that thing is called, down my nose and on my chin. So I'm you most, you, I'm, oh my 
but I am using it mostly for under my eyes, but then I'm also using it to highlight at the same time. You could use a beauty blender if you want. I'm intimidated by them and I've never used one, so I just use my finger. If you use your finger, use your ring finger because it's the weakest finger and just tap. Tap, 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 and kind of blend it up into your cheekbone a little bit. Then blend it out. My lips are disappearing, but my skin is looking awesome. So you win some, you lose some. Believe it or not, we're almost done. So now we've highlighted. Next, you've got to contour. I am such a huge contouring fan. There are a lot of steps that you can skip, but even if I'm wearing hardly any makeup, I always, always contour. This is the Lorac. Pro palette, but I have several that I like. Um, okay, mine is broken into a million pieces right now, but, oh, it's messy. I just kind of blend the browns. This is the Real Techniques brush, love it. And then suck in your cheeks, start at your hairline and chisel it in. I personally go pretty heavy on the contouring. My face has zero definition without it. And again, I like to tap instead of wipe. I just feel like uh, less margin of error. Kind of go upwards into the hairline a bit and then all around the hairline as well. I tap the edge of my brush in the brown and I go along the sides of my nose and under my lip. Ah, oh, cramp. I also go a little under my chin, down my neck. And then I take a big fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out so that the lines are not so harsh. But when you blend, blend down. Try to avoid that light under eye that you just worked so hard on. Pretty much one of my last steps is to add some blush. Really use any blush you want. Right now what I have in my makeup bag is this Pure Bronze and Brighten. It's okay, it's, it's very shimmery, which sometimes can make your skin look a little older than it is, but I like it, I like the color, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that, and I like to smile and then put it right where I naturally blush, which I concentrate it kind of on the apple of my cheeks and then blend back. And then I also take the edge of my brush and add just a little bit up into my crease because I just feel like it brightens up my eye, kind of adds another transition shade, ties in my cheeks, just makes me look a little bit fresher and brighter and more awake than I actually am. And you know, if you're doing a sloppy job like me because you're trying to do your makeup in a camera, you can take the fluffy brush and blend it again so it looks a little more natural. Now, this is another step you can skip, but if you want, you've got this already in your hand anyway, it has a nice shimmery highlight, so you can just take a brush and do a little bit of highlight if you want. Um, just up your cheekbones, and then I like to go to the top of my brow bone. Tip your nose if you want. Again, I'm not I'm not a big like shimmer on my face person, because I don't want to look like rainbow pony bright, but for some people, highlight is hot. So if you do it, there you go. And that's pretty much it. But obviously, as you can tell, the makeup has covered up my lips to add some lip color. My favorite is this Revlon HD Matte Lip Color. The color is Seduction. It's got a little touch of pink, a little touch of nude. It adds just enough color back to your lips without looking like you're trying too hard. If I am not working, wearing fake lashes that day, I will add one more layer of mascara. And then I don't care if it's waterproof this time, so this is a Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. But whatever, whatever mascara you like, I like to add a second layer to really make it look more thick, more dramatic. And there you go. That is pretty much how I do my makeup every day. Whether I'm going to the grocery store, whether I'm staying home, if I'm going on TV or doing a speaking engagement or something, I'll just go a little bit darker, heavier on the contour. I'll add kind of a darker shade to my crease, maybe more of like a purple or a darker color to my lips. But really, it's so fast. A lot of times I do wear false lashes because they're so quick. Sometimes they're even quicker for me than mascara. Let me put those on real quick and I'll be right back. There you go, here's the look with false lashes. Check out my lash video, link below. However you choose to do it, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe. I do new videos every Thursday. Okay, I gotta get on with my day. I'm gonna let you guys go, but I will see you in a week. Have an awesome day. Go put on your makeup. You got this. Bye guys. And clean up all of this contouring powder that just fell on my face.